The 27 Club, often referred to as the Forever 27 Club, is a term that has garnered both fascination and sadness over the years. It represents a group of influential musicians and artists who tragically died at the age of 27, leaving behind a legacy that continues to resonate with fans and scholars alike. While the concept of the 27 Club may seem like a mere coincidence, the convergence of talent, fame, and personal struggles has fueled its mythos and turned it into a cultural phenomenon. The origins of the 27 Club can be traced back to the late 1960s, a period characterized by a surge in artistic expression, social change, and the rise of rock and roll. During this time, several iconic artists passed away at the age of 27, creating a pattern that caught the public's attention. The deaths of Brian Jones, Rolling Stones, Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, and Jim Morrison, The Doors, within a span of just two years marked the beginning of the 27 Club's legend. The allure of the 27 Club lies not only in the untimely deaths of these artists but also in the circumstances surrounding their lives and careers. Many of them struggled with substance abuse, mental health issues, and the pressures of fame. These vulnerabilities often played a significant role in their downfall, igniting discussions about the price of stardom and the challenges faced by those thrust into the spotlight at a young age. Perhaps the most iconic member of the 27 Club is Kurt Cobain frontman of the groundbreaking band Nirvana. Cobain's death in 1994 cemented his status as a tragic symbol of a generation, and his struggles with depression and addiction highlighted the darker aspects of the music industry's glitz and glamour. His story underscored the delicate balance between artistic brilliance and personal demons, a theme that resonates throughout the history of the 27 Club. The 27 Club's influence is not limited to the realm of music. It has also made its mark on literature, film, and popular culture. Writers, filmmakers, and artists have drawn inspiration from the club's mystique, weaving it into their creations to explore themes of mortality, fame, and the pursuit of artistic excellence. This cultural impact speaks to the universal fascination with the intersection of talent and tragedy, and how society grapples with the fleeting nature of human existence. However, it is essential to approach the concept of the 27 Club with nuance and sensitivity. While the deaths of these artists are undeniably tragic, the club should not overshadow their contributions to their respective fields. Each member of the 27 Club was a unique individual with a distinctive voice, and their artistic legacies deserve to be celebrated independently of the circumstances of their deaths. In recent years, Efforts have been made to shed light on the mental health challenges faced by artists and to provide support for those struggling within the industry. The 27 Club, in a way, has become a catalyst for conversations about mental health awareness and the need for a more compassionate and empathetic approach to the well-being of artists. In conclusion, the 27 Club remains a powerful and haunting reminder of the fragility of human life, the complexities of fame, and the enduring impact of artistic expression. Its members have left an indelible mark on the cultural landscape, and their stories serve as cautionary tales and sources of inspiration for generations to come. As we contemplate the legacy of the 27 Club, let us remember the artists for their artistry, their courage, and their ability to evoke profound emotions through their work.